like, subscribe, turn on notifications, and leave me a comment. Without further ado, Well, howdy there, kids. It's Hyperdelic. Today, we're going to be doing the Iron Man She-Hulk Roundup. <laughs> I don't know. I just needed to change it up. <laughs> had to do something a little different. <laughs> All right. So, as a part of July being Ladies Month, uh, as far as Hyperdelic is concerned, at least for action figures, uh, every day is Ladies Month. If that makes sense. <laughs> okay, so who do I have? I've got She-Hulk. I've been excited for her. Ever since the uh, the She-Hulk series, I, I wanted to add a She-Hulk to my collection, but I, I, I held off because I did want a much more classic comics looking She-Hulk. Uh, don't get me wrong. The, the new look for She-Hulk was cool, right? But it's very Avengers-y and too realistic. Uh, I like my, my Marvel superheroes looking more comic book. Uh, more more illustrated, maybe even like more classic, uh, maybe not total classic, like the oldest of old, but uh, you know, that 80s, 90s look. Uh, this is what we get. Um, let's see. And it's on this retro card, which is cool. I don't, I don't have that much, like I'm not a big Iron Man guy, right? I was never that big into Iron Man, but you know, uh, I, I have an appreciation for the more classic comic book or classic, you know, almost cartoon uh, series looks. Um, let's see. With incredible strength and a passion for justice, Jennifer Walters, right? Yeah, Walters, fights evil as both a lawyer and the gamma powered superhero She Hulk. I don't know, I'm going to screw it up. Um, <laughs> Yeah, that's pretty much the same storyline that they used in the series. Um, and if I recall, uh, a, a, at least one of the comic book versions of her uh, followed that storyline as well. Um, they don't really go into why she got it. Uh, I want to I, I want to say that the original one, she needed a transfusion to cure an incurable disease or something like that. And Bruce knew that his blood could do it or I. I I remember reading a comic a long time ago, right? <laughs> that's that's just how I do things. <laughs> I I am not a comic book expert. I'm not even a She-Hulk expert, but I really like the look of this figure. And uh, you know, we're gonna take a closer look at her in just a moment. All right, here she is. She comes with a few accessories. She comes with two punching fists. We'll get closer up on those. They're not bad. I mean, standard uh, Marvel fists. Um, they're not, they don't feel extremely large, but they might be like a normal man-sized fist. So that, that might be what that is. Um, it's a horizontal rocker, right? You can do some mighty, mighty flexing poses with it. <laughs> and then she comes with this thing, which is like a broken machine gun. Uh, she doesn't hold it very well. I, I tried to put it in her hands and it's just like, meh. Not so great. Um, you can, if you're patient enough, get it into a pose. <laughs> but like, uh, uh, <laughs> right? <laughs> it's fun. It's cute. It's adorable. <laughs> um, and yeah, that's uh, those are her her, her accessories. Uh, honestly, I don't know if I, I need a lot of accessories with her. Uh, let's zoom in closer, and we're gonna take uh, a much uh, nicer detailed look. Yeah. This is Jen, our girl. She looks great. I mean, I, I, the head sculpt is huge, very 80s, like very big hair, right? Like almost like she's from Texas or something. <laughs> I feel like at some point maybe Rogue needs to get this hairdo. <laughs> right? It looks great. Um, she is a she's a nice, big, bulky figure. Um, I like her. Uh, <laughs> she is. Uh, she's she's. She's basically got a large male buck with a uh, female, you know, and uh, a female torso, basically. This half and this. But these arms and the legs, they look like they were all from male figures. Now, they gave her a nice, nice, you know, caboose. <laughs> She's got a good, good dunk. A booty, a butt. <laughs> um, and uh, they, they didn't like, they didn't make her crazy huge in the bust. Um, but she is she is voluptuous, right? She's got she's got curves. They are lovely. Uh, I, I think 
uh, that how they did this figure, uh, it works for for She Hulk. Uh, it's funny though; she doesn't feel humongous like a Hulk figure does, right? So, I mean, like she's big. You 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 know the <laughs> when when I when I show you side by sides of her and other uh, a couple of other Marvel Legends, uh, you'll see like. <laughs> She's she's definitely bigger, <laughs> but um, yeah, you know I I, I like it. Uh, she's got the standard uh, good posing. There's no butterfly, or at least no no. There's no butterfly, um, but you've got a bicep cut right there, double elbow. Uh, this doesn't move. That's just a separate piece, right? They didn't paint that on. It looks like that's a that's an actual plastic cover that goes over, and then down to the hand brace. You know, uh, wrist rocker horizontal back and forth um she's got a, a nice uh a nice diaphragm cut and it's got some range uh i mean it's that's not that's not bad it's not bad but the 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 biggest problem here is the head right it's a phenomenal sculpt right i love this sculpt it it is the, the fact that the sculpt is gorgeous <laughs> and really well done is why it gets a pass when it comes to the articulation because she can do this but she can't do any like lookups so like it's hard to like get her to do like one of those ground pound poses and stuff like that like i would have to like melt that hair or something like that back and even then i'm not fully convinced that it'll even look good <laughs> so so be careful you know don't do that <laughs> um we come down she does have a uh, she does not have a waist cut right she doesn't swivel at the waist but she does at the diaphragm right um come down to the legs uh there's no drop down or anything like uh, gi joe classifieds but she does go out side to side fairly well um we come back she can kick that far back right that's about that's about it she doesn't touch butt um and then going forward the leg will go you know about 90 degrees toe articulate or no there's no toe articulation sorry foot articulation <laughs> And double knee. There's a boot cup right there. And I think that this is a I don't know if that's painted or it looks like it looks like it's a separate piece of plastic. Yep. Um so uh aside from the paint that they did around the waist, all of this white they did as a separate piece of plastic, which is nice. I like that. I prefer it when they can engineer the color shifts in a figure into the plastic rather than doing it by paint um because you know paint wears down uh there's nothing you can really do about that then other than never touch your action figure and some people just do that <laughs> like you can do that <laughs> all right well we're gonna do some posing with her and then i will uh give you my final thoughts and close out okay let's do that <laughs> favorite poses <laughs> it's just great how he's 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 little and she just she looks like she's holding a little man <laughs> it's great it makes me it makes me smile that's probably how they're going to be posed <laughs> but uh i i absolutely love this she hulk i, I love that wolverine too <laughs> cover up your shame boy uh-oh uh-oh i messed around i'm gonna find out oh man So you don't want to stand up. We'll see. We'll see. I don't know if they're going to make it around. <laughs> but listen, 
I, this is a fantastic figure. I like this She-Hulk a lot. Is she my all-time favorite figure? No, 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 no. But I think I think Hasbro did a really good job. Like her face looks great. The the hair is fantastic. <laughs> it's fantastic. I mean, seriously, look at that big hair. She she belongs in Texas. I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> like that is some big hair right there. <laughs> um, the the body sculpt is fantastic. I'm glad they gave her a, a lot of like nice curves, but you know she's tough and strong and brutal looking. Um, that's a lot of plastic for the price point too. So I mean, don't be surprised that you only get two fists and a gun. She's a much bigger figure, you know. Um, we're lucky we're not paying like 35 bucks or something like that for. Her. So overall, I think. Value-wise, she's a great purchase, right? No matter what price point you get her at, I think she's good. Um, I got her for a slight discount, but <laughs> but that's not to say that at the $25 price point, she's not worth it. Um, in fact, I think, if anything, uh, over a lot of other figures, she's most definitely worth it just out of the sheer amount of plastic that is involved in this figure. She is heavy, okay? That is a, that is a husky fig right there okay she she has mass <laughs> and i like it i like it a lot uh nice hand feels you know it, it, it just it makes you go oh yeah i want to play around with this you know putting her in some dynamic poses and stuff like that it's fun she is a fun figure to play with i i i like that when you get a figure and you're like ah i like playing around with this figure you know as opposed to like oh i just want to put this in a pose and look at it I love when I have a figure that I want to fidget around with and play with, you know? It, it's nice. It makes me happy. Um, I'm, I'm really looking forward to Scarlet, uh, who is the uh, the next figure I'm opening on my list. Uh, she, uh, <laughs> she, just, she has so many weapons options that I'm looking forward to playing around with her many different, like, you know, packouts and ways to, you know, pose her out a little bit differently. Um, I think I've said this uh, in the last couple of videos that I've done, that I'm, I'm trying to uh, put a little bit more focus on some of the posing and just do a little better job. Like, I've got some of the technical stuff down pat now. Now I want to work on my craft. I want to work on providing you guys with some better entertainment. <laughs> I got, I'm going to tell you lots of dad jokes. <laughs> All right, come here. Listen, get out of the way, Wolfie. <sighs> Above somebody else. Come here, girl. So, <laughs> oh, that was you. <laughs> oh man, sorry. Yeah, what do you want? <laughs> no, 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 no. She's got to sound beautiful. Hi, how are you? <laughs> oh, I could give her the Southern Bell accent because she's got the big hair now. Hi, girl. What's going on? <laughs> All right. What you need, girl? <laughs> First off, I ain't a girl, but uh, you know uh, what I. <laughs> What I would like for you to do is tell everybody what to do. Over here. <laughs> I can't make up my mind if <laughs> she's gruff or Southern Belle. Over here. <laughs> she gonna, you gonna you gonna turn on notifications and subscribe to Hyperdelic's channel. And then down here, you're gonna hit the like button. Unless you don't like gruff southern accents, in which case you can hit the down button, but that's not cool. And that'll mess up the video and the meta, and then you're not showing your love for Hyperdelic. <laughs> You know, on my on my gaming channel, I have I have gone to voicing uh, the little professor that uh, keeps throwing Luigi around. He's the only one that really gets dialogue, right? So, and, and he, he has like this like voice. So, like I've been reading the dialogue like this a little bit, <laughs> and she's a little uh, similar to that. <laughs> and look, you know, they're green too. So maybe I'll finish it out with this voice. <laughs> Well, thank you, She-Hulk. I appreciate all of your help in this video. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> I'm an idiot. I'm sorry that I am an idiot. <laughs> but hey, some of you are still watching me, so you obviously like it. <laughs> all right, kids. Thank you for watching this review. Uh, go ahead and get a She-Hulk, man. I Honestly, I think that they uh, they did a really good job. I look forward to seeing what else they can do with this uh, female buck. Uh, I'm sure we'll get a couple of uh, cool figures out of this. Uh, maybe a... Uh, Maybe a classic like uh, a wasp or something like that. Who knows? We'll see. Uh, but yeah, check out my uh, links in the description down below. Check out my Patreon page for any music that you want, you know, and stuff like that. Uh, become a member and you can download all of it as much as you want. Yay. <laughs> Save the hyperdelics. <laughs> uh, I am coming close to 460 subs. I still have not gotten those 500. 
Uh, I'm going to say that if I if I get those 500 by the middle of August, which is right around my birthday, if I get those subs, <laughs> I will still give away Lady Slither. If I get those subs before my birthday, I will give away Lady Slither. We're going to call it the 15th. That's not my birthday, but if my birthday is a, a couple of days around that. Uh, I'm not going to give you my exact birthday because, <laughs> you know, I'm an old man and I'm like, I'm not telling you nothing, <laughs> which is the way you guys should be too. <laughs> so, <laughs> but thank you guys again. Have a great day and uh, I love you all and I will see you uh, on the next video. Peace out. <laughs>